Hi everyone, this is Tanner here and welcome to a video. I'm very excited to show you all. Um, I would love a Nintendo Cinematic Universe with the Super Mario Bros. movie coming out. Definitely a possibility and today I'm going to be pitching you my Phase 1 or World 1 plan called Kingdoms. So this is going to be kind of the layout here for each project. I'm going to say the platform, the style, the theme, what it's similar to, the director, and the cast. Of the project so we just have the mario movie here we know that's coming out in april very excited for it and you might think that's it for 2023 but no we actually have another project and we, we don't but in this hypothetical case nintendo says okay we're actually going to have a detective pikachu sequel and i think this would work very well um detective pikachu one was very well received by a lot of the fans and i think kind of doing a tv show would work very well it would give nintendo more time to work on the big movies and i think it could work really neat it would be kind of similar to stranger things where you have kids trying to figure out a mystery i would include ash ketchum in this version i think that would be a really cool step here and one thing i want to have for this nintendo cinematic universe phase one is only three projects per year. So we have one here with the Mario movie, two with a Pokemon show, and three with Kirby Land of Dreams, which is going to be an animated show, very similar to that of Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls was a show I really fell in love with. It has a lot of, you know, kind of mystery with some action, adventure, comedy, and I think this will work very well as a show. I think Kirby's a solid recognizable brand. And I think getting Mario, Pokemon, and Kirby all in one year are all very recognizable properties to get us invested in this Nintendo Cinematic Universe. So that's what we have here in November. Um, some of my favorite casting I have here. I have John Goodman for the voice of King DDD. If that name sounds familiar, he was solely in Monsters, Inc. I think he would do a very good King DDD. Um, so yeah, Kirby show. And now conclude 2023. And then going on to 2024, we begin with a movie in March, Star Fox Forces of Good. This is going to be very similar to Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, kind of this space adventure action um, film mixed with comedy. And I really love the cast here I have. Nathan Fillion as Fox. He was Nathan Drake in that Uncharted fan film. I think Oscar Isaac could play a very good Falco. Javier Bardem, I think, would be a great wolf, and Brian Cranston as Andros. But this would be a movie of the Star Fox crew going up against the evils of space. And I think this would be a very kind of fun movie to have. I think Star Fox is still kind of a recognizable name where we could have a movie at this point and have it still be successful with this cast. Have it be animated. I think it would work out very well. Alright. The big project here of 2024 is going to be the Legend of Zelda movie. Um, July of 2024 seems a bit late. But I think that will be enough time to get it going hypothetically in this universe. This is going to be a live action fantasy movie. Very epic. Similar to that Lord of the Rings. I have Brad Bird directing. Um, he's done The Incredibles. The Iron Giant. A lot of good other projects and i think it would be perfect for this and the way i'm going to get around link and his whole no talking thing is when i have young link in this movie portrayed by walker scobell he's going to be more talkative and then he's going to transform into adult link played by sebastian stan who's going to be a bit less talkative but yeah i think this movie would be excellent and i think it'd be a big success continuing with kind of the kingdom and medieval properties we have a fire emblem show called ember burns <laughs> what a name but this is gonna be a tv show live action very similar to game of thrones except in more of kind of a pg sense game of thrones is a very intense show and i think this show would be a bit more for all audiences but it would still be epic and dramatic right it would still have a lot of high stakes in it um, one of my favorite castings i have here is steven yun as marth i think it would be incredible and I really like the idea of a Fire Emblem show. Fire Emblem is very popular. Um, the games are very highly rated. And I think the broad audience knows of Fire Emblem because of their inclusion of the characters in Super Smash Bros. So yeah, I think a show for this would be great. And I think it would bring in a bit of a different audience, right? Because 
I think this would be a bit more of a dramatic property than, say, Star Fox. Even The Legend of Zelda's Epic, I think this could be a bit different. Alrighty, so that's 2024. Right, getting some big projects out there. And then we go to 2025. And we'll begin with Super Mario Bros. 2, the sequel. Basically, two years after the original came out. I think this would make sense. And the big thing that I want to emphasize on is kind of the Wario and Luigi relationship with Mario and Luigi. In this universe, going to be like long-distance cousins, and they don't really like each other, and they have to get along. Kind of like Shrek 2, where Shrek, you know, meets Fiona's parents. He doesn't really like them, right? Uh, Shrek 2 is a really good animated film, very epic, very funny, and I want this movie to be like that. I actually have the director of Shrek 2 coming back to do this movie, and, yeah, that's kind of my idea for Super Mario Bros. 2, is to do Wario and Waluigi. I have John C. Riley and Bill Hader playing them. Um, I think Danny DeVito as Wart would be a really good villain. That would be kind of unique. Bowser maybe takes a back seat in this one. But, yeah. Alrighty, next up, I originally had this after kind of the big movie, but I like it here. Kid Icarus, Path of Flight for June 2025. This will be kind of the fun... Um, Live action film, similar to Percy Jackson, I have Chris Columbus directing this. This would kind of be like the Spider-Man, if you will, of the cinematic universe, right? This would be kind of like the fun, quippy character. I have Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things fame playing Pit. I think that would be a really good casting choice. He could bring that fun energy. I have Elizabeth Olsen as Paul Lutena. Benedict Cumberbatch as Hades, right? Um, I think this would be a very fun world to explore um, with Kid Icarus. And I think it makes sense here. A summer movie, right? We've already established kind of this world and then building on to it. And that leaves us for the Super Smash Bros. movie in December 2025 called Kingdoms Collide. So this is basically going to be Bowser and Ganondorf teaming up. Somehow they use their powers together. So you have basically the main players going to be Mario, Luigi, Link, Mirth, Kirby, uh, Star Fox, Pikachu will be in there. But it's going to be more of the characters kind of from kind of the, you know, medieval style games. So that is Phase 1 or World 1, everyone. I'm going to move my face away so y'all can properly see this. But this is what I have planned. I think this is a good idea to do three projects a year because I don't want to overdo it. But I think, you know, you have Mario, Pokemon, Kirby, Star Fox, Zelda. Um, a lot of the more recognizable names there. I think the main leaders of this franchise want to have Mario and really Legend of Zelda to be the two kind of big properties. And then kind of have the others on equal footing. But that's what I have, y'all. Um, I would love if Nintendo were to do this. I think we all would. It would be super cool to see. But let me know what y'all think. Um, I'll be doing Ward 2, aka Phase 2 next, which is going to be space-themed. So expect to see, like, Metroid and stuff. Very excited for that. Until then, y'all, thank you for watching and have a good day.